Good morning, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph and I'm today here with Dion and we're looking at Bitcoin and we're going to the weekly chart and there we saw something very interesting and there is a bullish divergence. As you can see, there's bullish divergence on the, the Bitcoin chart on the weekly um, and so we had lower lows uh, on uh, the long trend uh, of Bitcoin uh, but then on the MACD uh, we got a, a, um, a, a bullish divergence here because uh, the the um, MACD is lower uh, um, year around January and now in June it was higher and so now for the first time we had um, a candle or two uh, that closed on the, the uh, MACD above the zero line and that's usually a buy signal uh, so you got the buy signal on the MACD you got bullish divergence uh, and then you got the stochastics also crossing. So uh, we got uh, an excellent opportunity uh, uh, to buy uh, Bitcoin now. Um, I've, uh, I didn't see it by myself. I was watching these videos of Steve from Crypto Crew uh, and he's very good to analyze the long term um, movements of Bitcoin. So I want to show you the clip that I watched uh, and then I'm going to get Dion to give us some insight into what is happening right now. We're gonna jump into this chart and you can see some major, major divergence. What's it called? When price is going down and the indicator is going up. What is that called? Because we did this not once, but two other times with the same exact result. And I'm gonna show you what's going on right now. Back here, when we are in 2014, 2015, Prices declined rapidly, right? You can see this low, a lower low, another lower low, another lower low, and another lower low. And this is when things got interesting right here at this point in the market. Why? Because at the same time, with the MACD has a histogram. This histogram, you can see these red colors. When it's darker red, it's more powerful. When it's lighter red, it gets a little bit weaker. But you can see that we were at this high here and then again a lower and a lower you can see that this is conflicting information right this is going down and this is going up right at this point of confluence and right happened at this point is we had a weekly macd cross and that weekly macd cross was major yes we had a little fake out macd cross over here but that wasn't the one that you can see you will see Pay close attention to this one. We repeated this history already. Close attention to this one. This is where things get really, really exciting because this is 2014, 2015. Now let me show you 2018. Look familiar? Look, we're getting crushed in price. Price is dropping drastically, right? We had this little blip in the radar. Remember I told you, take a mental screenshot of that. But when we actually had this MACD cross, that's when everything was good right on the weekly you can see we're getting destroyed you can see the histogram dark red then lighter red and then dark red again you can see right here we're going up right up in the histogram as as you want to if you're more bullish you would say up right this is divergence okay so you have divergence in this you have a macd cross and then we're out of the woods that's what happened back in 2014 2015 it happened in 2018 and now look at how we're going today, right? You can see price action getting destroyed, but at the same time, the histogram, you can clearly see it going up. Morning guys. Uh, okay, I've shared my screen now. So this is what, what Steve is seeing at the moment. This is the MACD and um, he's got this upward trajectory here and on the price is, is going down. Um, so that is a that is a valid bullish divergence that is so but i would like to get confirmation on that or just con confluence so i always look at the rsi as well and if you look at the rsi it's that's not the case for the rsi so that's one thing that is a, a bit worrying so I, I wouldn't get into or get too excited until we see some divergence here as well or if price starts going up the other thing also that we have to keep an eye on is this 200 ma so we're going nowhere until we've solidly 
found support on this on this 200 MA and started moving up so that's the other thing and then I also use another indicator which is very very accurate and powerful um, it's chop and explode and you can see it it makes these um, pink candles when you're going down and blue candles when you're going up this guy was obviously during a pregnancy that he made this this developer made this uh, indicator I don't know why he's using pink and blue anyway so if if you look at the all the all the blue candles are very strong bullish candles and definitely definitely the market moving up and as of November yeah the yellow candles and the black candles in his opinion are just sideways candles um, so there's actually been also no strong move down even though we were going down but they were kind of more sideways candles so if you look as of November we haven't had any blue candles um, as yet so I, I wouldn't get bullish until we have our first blue candle with this chop and explode indicator and you can see if you just go back in history with it and you can check this out on on many other charts it's really an awesome indicator it's very good at doing this and predicting you know runs and so on so this also so they they like three confluences to me that are, that are saying that we're not actually quite going up yet we we might do and once we've found support on those three I think we could be in for a massive move to the upside we've all been waiting for this for months so everyone's expecting it but um, it, nothing is confirmed as yet that's it from me Joseph yeah the challenge is when you try to find the bottom so you can start buying as low as possible then all your indicators is always going to show um, that the market is still going down especially if it's a momentum indicator uh, so the whole idea behind di uh, divergence is just to say well the downwards run is losing momentum and that's really what divergence is showing you although it's still moving downwards it's less because uh, MACD really shows you the speed at which it's moving down so when the MACD gets smaller and smaller it shows it's still going down it's just going down at the slow speed it has lost momentum and so when you see that then then it kind of uh, gives you an indication that we might be at the bottom or that uh, you know we're losing speed speed on the way down uh, there might be a pot possible reversal yeah but uh, i mean any momentum indicator that you're going to stick on your chart is going to show that bitcoin is going down and so that's why i would say uh, probably 80 80 percent of uh, market analysis say bitcoin can still go uh, down uh, and obviously all the retail traders <laughs> wants to believe the bottom is in and they want to start buying Bitcoin so they can start making money. Uh, so this is a difficult decision. Uh, but I mean, Steve uh, from Crypto Crew has been uh, at it for many, many years and he's made some really great calls in the past. So that's why I always like to look at what he has to say. Uh, so uh, guys, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we're going to be back again on Monday and uh, uh, we're going to look at what happened after this big dump that we see Bitcoin is busy making. Hopefully it finds support and we uh, can have some good news for you. Uh, have a great weekend. Thank you, Dion. Great guys. Have a good weekend. Cheers, man.